and we're going to keep the fun going because we are checking in with Brian McMillan. Brian, hi. You've been having some fun. I hear you've got some sea creatures with you now. I got sea creatures because, I mean, we're right on the water. We got to talk about the animals that live in the water and near the water. And Rachel Easton is the education director yeah. of Harbor Wild Watch here. And they have this really cool facility that's right near uh, the, the water. And you guys uh, talk a lot about sharks and some of the sea life as well. And right here is one of your touch tanks where you get to actually come in and you actually feel the animals, this doesn't hurt them, right? No, everything in here is safe to touch. We focus primarily on intertidal species that are some of the toughest animals out there. Um, so everything in here is very hardy and can withstand and the, the touching. To, why is it important to kind of learn uh, about these animals even by touching them? You were talking yeah, about that earlier. So, I mean, what better way to introduce yourself to your neighbors that live in the water than to shake their hands and come <laughs> get a feel for what they're all about. Um, it really is a great memory-making experience a lot of kids really like this is what stands out when they visit our touch tanks is I got to touch the squishy thing or the sharp thing or the you know <laughs> totally. insert whatever so okay here. so we got uh, we got some starfish here yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here because I, oh, I yeah. do want to try Go right I in. do want to try uh, so there's three different kinds of starfish yeah. right so we got this one right here. This one is a little on the harder side, It is right? on the harder side. This is a mottled sea star. And as you touch it, you might notice that the gills retract and yeah, reveal a slightly that. different color skeleton underneath. They're pretty bumpy and slimy and squishy all at the same time. Yeah. Um, and these are carnivores. They're preying on things that they can catch that are slower than they are. So okay. mussels, barnacles, the slower animals out there or the things that can't move. Okay. And then what's the next one? Yeah. And then so a few other ones. Let's see. Our, my, oh, my ochre star is right here. This uh, kind of purplish one right there. Give that one a feel. The, oh, this right here. Yeah. Okay. The, okay. the skeleton on that one protrudes a little bit more than the model yeah, star, it so it's a lot a more bumpy. Bumpy, yeah, sharper. Kind and of. stiffer. That's a much harder star okay. there. Okay. Um, and those uh, really are adapted to really rocky outer coasts where they're getting battered by waves. So um, their skeleton reflects that. That's really cool, by the way. And then here, I'll lift up this one here. This is a leather sea star. And they feel a bit different than all the other sea stars. They feel like wet leather. Oh, yeah, kind of slimy. Yeah, kind like, of yeah, slimy and smooth. Yeah. So no sign of that hard outer skeleton like on the other species. This, one, this is attached. What is yeah. going on here? So this is, this is yesterday's lunch. Um, so I mentioned that they eat the sessile invertebrates, the uh -huh. things that can't move, so mussels being one of them. And so this one has consumed a mussel and left that shell behind. That's wild. Yeah, I can turn what, it over and see. Oh, look at, the, look at this. Got a mussel. This is breakfast here. That is so cool. So the way that they eat is really interesting. They use their suction cup tube feet. Those are these little, they look like little noodles over yeah. here, um, to pry the shell open just a little bit. And then they squeeze their stomach in and digest it within the shell of the mussel. That is so wild. It looks wild. like kind of like cellophane. Is it what does. The it totally looks like. does. So these are just a handful of the species. Some of the other ones that we can see in the center tank here are some of these fish. Yeah, the, and the fish, uh, the, you'll notice that some of them are, are maybe a little, what, you, you said it, not me, but a little fatter. Even a little rounder than the And than why the is that? Um, so we have some pregnant female shiner perch in this tank, um, and they're getting very close to giving birth every We were hoping that they actually would happen on live TV. But I mean, wouldn't can, that be Come amazing. on, have your babies right come now. Come on, you'll be the most famous fish. Ever. <laughs> and then uh, these right here, I wanted yeah, to, to so these, see how this they, works. They look like truffle trees, something out of Dr. Seuss. These are a species of worm, um, a filter feeding tube worm, and these ones are called feather duster worms. And when they are touched, they have this really cool adaptation wow, to withdraw into so cool. their tubes. Um, and that protects them from things like fish and um, crabs that might want to Look make a snack out of that delicious little worm there. That is so neat. So they'll stay inside there until they, you know, get really comfortable and then they'll come back out to grab plankton. How can people eat. come here and experience this and all the other great things that you guys yeah, have to so offer? We are open uh, Wednesday through Sunday from 10 to 4. Um, we're located right in downtown Geek Harbor. Come by and meet your neighbors. And you guys also do a lot of stuff during the summer as well, right? We do a ton, yeah. We have low tide beach walks. We're here for the concerts in the park and the farmer's markets. We do historical walking tours as well. So there's lots of ways to get involved with our organization. Thank you so much. Uh, Maria and Carly, we'll send it back to you. This was so cool.